Plus, I'm doing something that I don't know, which could very well be the case. I'm trying to pick it up. This is not... <laughs> I like that animation, though. Hang on, wait. We gotta check this out here. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay. It is Friday, November the 19th. I hope you guys had a great week and a great start to your weekend. So we're back in Montgomery County. It is a very rainy and stormy day in Montgomery County. We've got uh, calls in for trees all over. Trees are down all over the county. Uh, maybe some flooding, stuff like that going on. A lot of stuff is going on right now. Uh, a lot of lightning and, and things like that. So uh, we're in the brush truck. We're going to take a few calls and see what we can get into on this really nasty day. All right, the very first call came in. It's going to be for a object blocking the roadway. Uh, looks like a fallen tree. Yeah, Forest Hills Drive past Spelman Street. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the truck and see about getting that taken care of real fast. All right, let's get rolling. We'll head that way. It's going to take a minute. It's on the other side of the uh, expressway or interstate or whatever that is, just outside of town. We're at the rural station right now, so I figured the brush truck would be a good one to kind of get out and about and uh, do this kind of stuff. Like, uh, when we have bad uh, storms in town, in the town that I live in, you see, like, the fire department gets out. Uh, they man like the uh, evacuation points and stuff like that for tornadoes and uh, usually there's like fire trucks out all over the place So that's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit So we'll be over there shortly and we'll see about getting it cut up and off the road All right, here we go. Here's our uh, culprit right here. Let's go ahead and uh Pull off on the side here looks like someone's done run up into the tree I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I don't remember cars on here before. I don't know if something's changed in my settings or if something has changed in an update, but either way, we've got cars now out here. Uh, chainsaw, we need a chainsaw. Yes, here we go. All right, let's grab him real fast and it will make quick work of this. First time I've done this. I've never done any kind of uh, a tree clearing in this game. So I'm not even like 100% certain how this works out. There we go, nice, okay. That was really quick. I guess I was kind of expecting something maybe a little bit like um, like Farm Simulator, you know, how you cut trees and that kind of stuff. But that's all right, we got it. We got it taken care of. We'll just kind of uh, kick him out of the way here off on the side of the road. Well, I don't think it's gonna let us. Can I pick it up, maybe? Possibly, let's see, let's... Uh, can't do that. Let's see if I can move this out of the way. No, I can't. It does it look like I won't be able to pick it up. Plus, I'm doing something that I don't know, which could very well be the case. <laughs> I'm trying to pick it up. This is not... <laughs> I like that animation, though. Hang on, wait. We gotta check this out here. Uh, <laughs> nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, either way, it's on the shoulder of the road. <laughs> we got it taken care of. I don't know if these dudes are freaking out, I guess, because they're sitting here with our lights on. All right, let's put the saw back up, and uh, we'll see what other kind of uh, calls we can get. We'll see about heading into town. We've got uh, mutual aid is already... Um, already kind of staged in town in a parking lot, just in case, because, like I said, the weather's so nasty. All right, here we go. We got some of our still water trucks already uh, staged here and ready to go just in case. Just in case they're needed. Let's go ahead and park this dude right here and uh, we'll see what else we can get. All right, we're heading to our next call. We just uh, received a call for a barn on fire. I'm going to imagine that it probably got struck by lightning. That could very well be the case. It's actually going to be right here. I think this is it. Let's see if we see any smoke. Ah, uh, yes, we do have smoke in the back. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it is it's definitely going. All right, let's uh, pull you off right here. And I don't think we have a water supply out here, which is pretty dang true to life. So we're going to have to get a uh, tanker truck and probably bring the tower ladder out here as well. Let's go ahead and get the tanker and get a water supply started. All right, here we go. Montgomery County Tanker. This is the big mama right here. <laughs> this thing is legit. Oh, no, we don't want you to go down. Go back up. I, I misclicked you by accident. 
This is purely by accident. This thing is a beast. For real. All right, we're heading to the fire in the tank. What are you doing? <laughs> I had to call the insurance company on that one. I don't know what he was doing. He freaked out on us here at the last minute. <laughs> it was like he pulled over to the right and went back to the left. These people are crazy. So probably what we'll do is we'll get up there, we'll get uh, the tank set up and the draft tank and maybe start the deck gun and then we'll get the tower ladder, I'm thinking. Whole different ball game when it's a one man show, right? Like there, there's a lot of stuff going on. Did manage to get uh, force feedback in the game on my Logitech wheel. Actually, I wound up, uh, I couldn't get like a profile specific to the game set up. So I went back to the desktop profile, which it had been running on. And that's why I didn't have like any force back, you know, force feedback to it or anything and I, I went into that and like set it up for uh, force feedback and kind of adjusted it. It's all right, it's better. I've got something to kind of uh, push against now, but uh, it, it's still not great, but we'll make do. Okay, we're here. I think like, is this gonna be a good spot maybe? I, I don't want the tank to get into the truck is my problem, so. All right, I, this should be good right here. I think so, right? I, this should be good. Dang, it's loud. This thing is loud. <laughs> All right, let's see. What can we do? Uh, drafting pool. There we go. All right, he is filling up. Very nice. All right, and we need to get our water supply off of this truck. And I think, is it going to be over here? Is this it? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I've ever. Done, I've never done anything on this truck. I don't know where's the water supply at. You know, on the other side. It's not on the front. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it is. You just don't see the hose. I guess it's tucked away somewhere. All right. So he is connected up. We should have a water supply now, right? Get this opened up and see. Uh, inlet. Uh, just. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right, let's start. Uh, well, I say we're going to do a dead gun. This don't have one, so yeah, we're kind of screwed on that. All right, um, can we open this door up? I'm curious. No, we can't. We can't get in there to it. Oh yeah, well that sucks. <laughs> we can't get in there to. How are we supposed to get in there to the fire? And did it put itself out? Because I don't see any smoke. No, it's still kind of burning in there a little bit. It looks like the rain might put it out or took it down some. How, like, how are we supposed to get in here to this? I, I don't know. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get an ax, an ax. Find us an ax. I know there's an ax on here somewhere. There has to be. Maybe, I don't know. I'll just try. I mean, this seems kind of like, <coughs> nope, that's not doing nothing. It would be so cool if we could bust doors down though with this. Not working out for us though. All right, let's put you back. And we'll get the tower ladder, I guess. I think what I need to do now, as far as like my force feedback is like, uh, I need to turn the sensitivity up on my wheel. I think that would make it better because like, I really have to, I really have to manipulate the wheel to get the truck to do anything at all. Like it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of movement. So you probably see like the desk is shaking and I'm like moving the wheel like crazy to get this thing to do anything. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably a sensitivity thing. I think I could fix that with that. Come on, what are you doing? These are like the most indecisive drivers ever, right? Like they're like, <laughs> we're gonna go, they're pretty much, we're gonna go to the right. No, we're going to the left. They don't know, they don't have a clue. Yeah, let's see. Let's take this hairpin here. I'd, I'd love to see a map in game that's like flat and rolling hills and like straight highways. Kind of like the uh, the Flint Hills map in Farm Simulator um, 19 or uh, West Texas. Something along those lines. Uh, a really like super rural, flat, rolling hills, you know. Uh, something along those lines. I think that would be cool. Uh, I've noticed out here uh, lately 
Uh, where I live, of course, they they do a ton of farming. They do a ton of ranching. That stuff's everywhere. Uh, there's been a lot of equipment fires lately, like tractors and harvesters, a lot of cotton pickers and stuff like that. Uh, you know, cotton, uh, when they're harvesting it, is really highly, highly flammable. So uh, they've had a lot of... Uh, I've seen a few uh, cotton pickers burn up out in the fields, and I've seen... Uh, let's see, what did they have the other day? They had a chopper that was... Uh, and basically went along and I guess chopped up the corn stalks uh, after harvest and uh, it caught on fire and burned up so we see a lot of uh, a lot of equipment <clears throat> and a lot of uh, like um, uh, 18 wheelers 18 wheelers here too like they're all the time burning up on the side of the road it's crazy you see that I belong to a, a Facebook page that uh, basically uh, tells like everything that's going on you know all different uh, things and stuff like that and all the time it's all the time there's all kind of machineries all the time burning up all right let's see let's do the outriggers oh nice it's a little different than the uh the trucks that i'm used to i've never done anything with these so these are all new to me hopefully i hope we didn't hit that other truck over there did we uh it, yeah it looks like kind of maybe a little close he'll be all right he'll be okay all right, so I'm assuming this sets up exactly like the ones on Brooklyn and uh, Manhattan. So we need a relay. Get a relay line going here. Pull you out. And get him connected. All right, there we go. I think we're set. I think we're set with some water now. At least I hope so. Or this place is going to burn down. Hopefully, at least like the rain is like keeping it down a little bit. There we go. Um, I've noticed here lately, I've run into an issue where I don't like, I don't see the water effect all the time. Like it kind of comes and goes like it's cutting in and out. It, I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing that or other people are too, but I'm, uh, I've been kind of seeing that lately. I don't know what's up with that. Let's see. What can we do here? There we go. Hopefully we can get a quick knock on this before. Uh, I really wish we could gain access to this fire. This is going to be kind of a pain. Like, I, I don't know how we can fight this from... Purely from outside. It looks like we're getting some water on it a little bit here. Like they've got some kind of bells of stuff in there that's burning. It almost kind of reminds me of cotton bells a little bit, the smaller ones after they've been uh, through the cotton gin. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this downstairs, guys. Uh, like, I'm at a loss. Unless there's a way. These tower ladders go through such a crazy amount of water, I'm afraid we're going to... Uh, we're going to empty our draft tank. Yeah, it already looks like it's... We may have it. Actually, we may have it. We may have it out. We need to find the owner of this barn to uh, let us inside. Like, dude, open the doors and <laughs> let us in. He's like, you're not going in. You cannot have access to the bottom floor of my barn. I don't know what's going on down there. Maybe he has some stuff down there he don't want us to see, but <laughs> he can't go down there. Oh, my dude's walking for some reason. Why are you walking? Where are you going, dude? Try this. All right, let's get him back around and back down. I think we got it. I, I think we kind of lucked out and managed to get it. Let's see. Uh, I still see black smoke, so... Ah, uh, yeah, it's still downstairs. Doggone it. How can we get... Can we get in through the window? Like, is that even an option? Oh, I see. There's locks on the doors. Okay. I just... I've lost my mind. I just noticed the locks. I have completely, completely lost my mind. I was not paying attention. They're probably like, Spare, there's locks on the door, dude. There's locks. I just noticed those. I never expected the barn to be actually light locked, I guess. All right, let's get the uh, K-12. 
Well, okay, then we now we've got a plan of action. We know what to do here. Uh, let's get the little. Well, yeah, you know what? We'll do the big door. Do the big door. Hopefully, this will work. I hope so. There we go. Nice. Took a minute, but we got it. Okay. Sweet. I, I feel a lot better about this now. Complete game changer. This is complete game changer. Now we have access to the bottom floor. I did not know that there were uh, that there were locks. All right. Let's grab uh, let's grab the attack line. Hopefully we've got enough water. Damn. We put the bucket through the truck there. <laughs> let's get the attack line and get this thing started. Should be good to go. There we go. Nice. All right. Hopefully our water supply is going to hold out on us. All right. Let's see if he's got any kind of illegal materials downstairs here. <laughs> he has his bar locked. There we go. Quick knock. Got to get a quick knock on this. Like I said, spread back upstairs. We're gonna wind up getting another tanker. Like I think we are. I think we're gonna need another tanker before this is over with. What is this deal? Like, uh, looks like maybe where they park equipment or something. All right, let's get some air going before we uh, kill ourselves. All right, I think we've got this under control. I kind of think we're doing all right here. Makes a huge difference when you unlock the door and like open them up. <laughs> I totally was not expecting the doors to be locked. I was like, why aren't these doors opening up? Can't get them. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I, I totally did not mean to do that. I'm like stuck, why am I stuck? I, I think we get this uh, roof put out and this little front part right here and we should be good yeah these look like bells of cotton yeah this stuff would go up like no tomorrow see can we go up the ladder I don't know. Don't look like it, does it? Unless there's something to that that I'm not aware of. You guys have helped me out a great deal. I'll tell you that right now. If it wasn't for you guys, uh, I wouldn't know like 75% of the stuff I wouldn't know because you guys have helped me out a lot. I did not know that you can actually open the trunk and the hood on cars like car fires. I didn't, I didn't know that. Supposedly you can right click them and it'll open up, but we'll have to try that the next wreck. Or a car fire that we go to, we'll we'll give that a try. Go we'll try and see what happens. I think we're good. I think we've got it. I don't want to go back up in the tower ladder because I'm too lazy. We're a lazy fire department. We're like it looks okay up there. We're not going to double check it though. I think it'd be all right. The uh, the rain will get the rest of it. I do think. <laughs> Keep it knocked down. Wonder what our water supply looks like outside. Check that out. Oh, wow. We've got a ton of water. Like, I thought we were going to be almost out because we used the tower ladder and uh, uh, the quick the hand line. And, like, that doesn't even look like that's put a dent in it. I, I wonder, uh, can the tanker fill the draft pool, like, multiple, multiple times? So in other words, you fill the draft pool up the first time and there's water left in the tanker and then you get to fill it up again. I'm kind of wondering if that's how that goes down. It could be, it could be. That's why it's back to uh, back to being topped off. All right, let's get back in here and check this out one last time. And I think we're going to call it. Uh, it looks like there's a little smoke hanging around up there. Let's, let's put a little water up there just in case. We're too lazy to go check it out, so we're just going to spray it and go. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Is there anything illegal in here? Uh, he's got a lot of odd stuff in here for sure. There's a lot of odd stuff in here. Like, is this uh, drug manufacturing paraphernalia? Maybe. Could be. You don't know. I mean, there was a big fire in here. It could be. Uh, it could be going all Walter White up in here. Could very well be. Like, what are these bells of exactly? Who knows? <laughs> we have to cut the plastic off and see. Uh, either way, it was definitely flammable. All right, guys, it looks like we got our fire out. I'm glad I figured out how to uh, finally get in the barn to gain access. That was a game changer getting in there, like, completely. The barn would have probably burned down if we couldn't have gotten in there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Love hearing from all of you. Thank you all for the support. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. And with all that said, we will catch you on the streets of Montgomery County next time. Peace.